hello guys welcome to another video in this video we're going to be looking at tax 20 g okay the question says open the file project.csv this file list this file lists some uh, workers and below each worker is the number of jobs they have still to finish for a project okay place a formula in cell a22 to count the number of jobs that still have to be finished for a, for the project and also place a formula in cell A24 to count the number of workers on the project. Okay. So to do this, I've already opened the project.csv. So you can go on to open yours. So the first thing I'm going to do is to first of all save this file as um, to attack 20G and making sure that the file is saved as a Excel workbook. So I'm going to change it from csv to work to xls okay uh have tax 20 g right good stuff so another thing is to make sure my data shows pretty well so uh, arrange that and then probably uh, text wrap this one and do the same for this okay so the two functions i'm going to use to answer uh, this question uh, will be uh, the count function and the counter function. So the count function uh, counts the number of numeric values while the counter function counts both numeric and text values in a cell or in a range, sorry, or within a range. Okay, so the count the count counts just the, the, the number of um, numeric values and then the counter counts everything, you know, but both of them ignores, uh, both of them ignores um, blank cells right good so for this question uh number of uh, workers who have not finished so i'm interested in this in the cell the number of cells that contain um contain uh, numeric uh, numeric uh, values here right because you can see for leila abolif the first uh, the first um worker has about four jobs to finish Shira Perianti has about seven jobs, but if you go down, you find out if you find out that uh, John Reeves has no job to finish, so and also Dambre has no job to finish. So I'm going to just count the numeric values, okay? And which I expect seven of them. So I have, have to use count, okay? Select my range, okay? So these count are just interested in the numeric values, so you just count them, and then we we'll have seven right there, okay? So the next one is the number of workers on the on the project now i'm going to use the counter function and the count function to do this okay so just for, for explanation sake i'm going to just show you the what is going to be returned what uh, the counter function will return if i use it first of all okay it's going to return uh 16 right uh but uh for the question the number of workers on the project so the question is interested in the number of workers on the project not the the, the project on unfinish, unfinished projects right so we're going to have one two to nine we're going to have about nine people so Lele, Aboli, one two three four five six seven eight nine all right so uh the logic i'm going to use here is the counter will count the whole both numeric and, and the text values and then i will subtract i will subtract it i will subtract count function from the counter something like that so what i'm going to do is have equal sign here the counter will return 16 okay counter will return sorry counter will return 16 right uh, i expect it to return 16 actually and then minus the count which will return 7 and then subtract them it's as simple as that oh sorry <laughs> what am i doing i didn't do count sorry count yeah then I have uh, from here to there, okay. So it's going to uh, return seven and then subtract from sixteen, and then you have nine right there, okay. So that's how you can get this get this question done. All right. So uh, thank you for watching. If you have any question, uh, you can leave a comment down below. So don't forget to subscribe, also like my video and share. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day. Bye.